Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Welcome to uh, another edition of the Learning Glass Lectures on Physics. Uh, let's start today's conversation with uh, something that you might find rather relevant to your homework. And this is the problem of dealing with the bullet going into the door. So in this problem, we have the following scenario. We have a door. Here's the hinge on the door. And we're going to fire a bullet into the door. Okay, It's going to stick in the door. And the door will swing open. And the bullet is lodged in the door. So this is the before picture. And this is the after picture. And what we want to figure out is how fast does that door swing open? What is this omega final? Remember, omega is angular speed. How fast is that door rotating in radians per second? And we'll give you some parameters here. This bullet has mass m. It's coming in at v. The mass of the door is capital M. The width of the door we will call A. And let's give you some real numbers because we're going to plug these in at the end. So the data that we have is the following. Mass of the bullet is 10 grams. In SI units, that is, of course, 0.01 kilograms. The speed of the bullet is 400 <laughs> meters per second. The mass of the door, capital M, is 13 kilograms. And the width of the door is 1.1 meters. And now we want to figure out how to solve this problem for omega f. All right, this is indicating the hinge. That's our axis of rotation. So let me ask you guys, how do I attack this problem? What principle might I employ here to solve this problem? Anybody have a thought? Andy, grab the mic. Let's have a chat. <laughs> You're like, I am never sitting in front of you. That's okay. I'll pick on the people in the back, too. So, Andy, how might I approach this problem? How do I attack it? What do you think? Um, and it's okay to have no idea? Yeah, I don't. I'm not really sure. Okay. So, let's think about the principles that we do understand already. Okay. We understand principles like conservation of energy, right? Is energy conserved in this case? Or specifically, is kinetic energy conserved in this case? When the bullet hits the door and sticks in the door? What do you think? Okay. What do you guys think? Anybody else think that the kinetic energy is conserved? What sort of collision are we dealing with? Is it elastic? It's inelastic. Any kind of things stick together, right, that is inelastic. And is kinetic energy conserved in the inelastic collision? No. It's not conserved. Why? Because you had to bend wood out of the way. You had to push wood fibers out of the way to get that bullet to stick in the door. And that cost energy. Okay? So kinetic energy is not conserved. What about momentum? One of the principles that we talked about was conservation of momentum. And there were two types. There's linear momentum, and then there is angular momentum. And one of those is conserved here. Andy, which one do you think is conserved in this case? Angular momentum. Exactly right. Conservation of angular momentum. So. What is angular momentum? For some reason, we write it with an L. Again, we've run out of letters. Okay, we're down to this. We can say whatever angular momentum is in the initial case has to be there in the final case. So this is what conservation of angular momentum says. So initially, the only thing moving at all is the bullet. Is the bullet does, well, let's change the question. Does that bullet have angular momentum? 
it does about this axis. Okay? Even though the bullet's moving in a line, you might think it's got linear momentum, which clearly it does. It also has angular momentum because we're looking about this point right here. And if I caught it with the door, we know what would happen. It would swing around. Okay? So it certainly has angular momentum. And we know what angular momentum is. Angular momentum is R cross P. That's how we write it with the cross product. Or we write it MVR sine phi. Mass times speed times the radius times the angle between R and P. So for the bullet, it's moving to the right. The radius is just the door itself. That angle between them is in fact 90 degrees. So we get Li equals mv. In this case, the radius is just A, the length of the door. The angle between them is 90 degrees, but the sine of 90 degrees is 1. And so we just get MVA. What about the right side of this equation? Angular momentum, finally. Well, now we have an object that consists of a door and a bullet in it, and it's rotating. We know that angular momentum is equal to I times omega. But I consists of two things, the door plus the bullet, and it's rotating at omega final. And now we need to figure out some of these moments of inertia. We can set it all equal. We can solve for omega final. So let's do that. All right, one thing we need to know is the moment of inertia of the door. The door is a slab of wood, and it's rotating about its hinge. And you can calculate the moment of inertia by doing that integral, or you can look it up in the book, because they've already done those integrals. And what they tell you is that the moment of inertia of the door is one-third ma squared, where a is the width of the door, how far from the hinge is the edge of the door. We also know that the momentum, the angular momentum of the bullet, it looks like a particle at the end of a string, right? It's just a mass at the end of this door. And a particle at the end of a string has moment of inertia of ma squared. And so now we can put all this stuff together. Right? We have L final equals L initial. L final, we just said, was I door plus I bullet times the omega final is going to equal L initial, which is MVA. I can now solve this for omega final, and I get MVA divided by I door plus I bullet. And now I can put all that stuff in there for those I's. We have MVA divided by I door, which we said was one third capital M A squared plus I of the bullet, which is little m A squared. And we can simplify this a little bit. We could cross out an A on the top and one of those a squareds on the bottom. And so it becomes this. And now you have all those numbers, okay? And if you take those numbers and plug them in and you want to double check what I got, you should end up with omega final is 0 0.84. And the units, of course, are radians per second. This is how fast that door is going to rotate. It's not that fast, but it's reasonable number. Whenever you get answers like this, in terms of all these variables, and again, I urge you to keep your variables all the way to the end, look at the answer and see if it makes sense, okay? 
what it says is if I shoot that bullet even faster, the door is going to swing open faster. That makes sense to us, right? V is on the top. If V goes up, then omega F goes up. Okay. It also says that if the door is a lot bigger, it's more massive, it's not going to open as fast because capital M is in the denominator. And that makes sense too. And then some of these other things like the width of the door, the relationship of little m to big M, you can look at. But in those limits, the answer makes sense. And so we say this has got to be the right answer. All right, questions about that one? Everybody mostly okay with that one? You don't have to be 100%, but if you're, you know, 75% okay with it, I'll, I'll accept that. <laughs>